Hey guys, my name is Andy, and I'm gonna show you how to set up the BLK Arc on the Boston Dynamics Spot Dog. All right, so when you first get the BLK Arc uh, and you open up the, the packaging, you'll see there are a couple manuals on top, along with a microfiber cleaning cloth. Under the top tray, you'll find another tray and it has some uh, cables. Uh, three different cables here, and I'll explain what those are uh, a little bit later in the video. If you remove this tray, you'll see the, the actual BLK arc. And in this white box here uh, is the external charger. This is the, the first piece of protection roll bars that will be mounted to the back of the spot dog. And this also comes with a baggie of mounting hardware. Inside of this box is uh, a couple different pieces. These are the mounting plates that will be um, that will connect the BLK arc to the spot dog. This piece um, is the front protection bars for the BLK arc, and it also comes with a small baggie of mounting hardware, along with a an Allen wrench set. These are the the hex hexagon tools that you'll need to mount all this hardware. You'll see we have some spacers, some flathead screws, some uh, standard machine screws, and a couple other types of screws that will be uh, used later. Uh, inside of this smaller box, this is the top cover that um, covers the, the cables that come out of the BLK arc. Inside of this smaller black box are some extra filters. These air filters can be used if you're working in a particularly dusty environment or dirty environment. Um, these can be replaced with a very small screw. This is a 1.3 millimeter hex screw. Um, this, this hex wrench is not included in the, the BLK arc. This is something you'll have to purchase separately. Inside the box you'll see that there's this indentation underneath where the BLK arc was. Um, this has a purpose. Um, it allows you to set the BLK arc into the box which uh, lets you work on the cables without um, having to touch the, the protective black dome. So these cables are inserted like this. Um, they press into the slot that wraps around um, and exit out the back. So there's two cables that lay side by side like this. Um, you'll notice that they each have a small piece of black tape you shouldn't remove this because this is what's actually used if you need to remove these cables later. All right, now you're going to mount the roll bars. And you're going to need to use the two millimeter Allen wrench. Slide these sliding brackets into the, the rails on the side of the spot dog and you'll notice that they're um, the pin that's used to secure them down are on opposite sides. Um, this will become um, apparent why this is done uh, a little bit later. Then you're going to use these plain screw posts and you're going to use the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. and screw these into the, the open hole of these brackets. 
You'll notice that there is an open side and a closed side to each of these screw posts. Make sure that the open side is facing up so that you can tighten them using the Allen wrench. These screws will be used to mount the roll bars. So make sure that they're positioned um, somewhere on the back of the spot dog. And then tighten these down. Make sure that they um, fit the, the inside of the roll bars snugly to hold them in place. Once those are tightened down, you can use the smaller 2 millimeter Allen wrench to tighten down the, the actual locking pins that keep these in place along the rail. On top of these screws, now we can screw on these black plastic dowels. Um, these can either be finger tightened or tightened using a 4 millimeter Allen wrench. Now the roll bars are successfully installed. All right, now you're going to take out your three millimeter Allen wrench and use these smaller um, fat headed screws and lightly screw them into the, the bottom of the BLK arc. Just get the thread started because you'll need to tighten these down later. Remove this from the box and then you'll feed the cables through this larger hole and these screws each go through and slide into these locking slots. Um, use the three millimeter Allen wrench and then tighten these down. You can see that the mounting bracket has some indentations that allow you to feed the wires through. Now we can move to the front of the spot dog and remove these existing screws with a 4 millimeter Allen wrench. In the place of each one of these screws, you'll place uh, a spacer. And then on top of the spacers, you'll place this mounting plate like this. And then in each one of the holes, you'll You'll use the, those flat head screws and screw them in with a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. Now we can move on to the front of the mounting plate. These rounded top screws um, can be placed in these four holes. Um, they just had, have to be started don't tighten them down too far yet. Now we can place the BLK arc onto the screws um, through the mounting holes and they slide back into place. Now you can tighten down each of these screws. Now remove this um, plastic black cover from the spot core and one of the cords is a USB-C on one side and USB-A on the other. Plug the USB-A into the spot core. It's a standard USB-A, so it'll always be wrong the first time and probably be wrong the second time. Then there's this FCI plug. Plug this into this port here. And then this small wire goes directly to the spot core. The longer wire gets fed up to the front of the spot, the spot dog. Now you can um, replace this cover. And plug in um, the USB-C and this round cable. Um, to hide these cords, this is where you place this um, cover. Make sure the two cords feed through the two slots on the back of the cover so that it lays down nicely. And there you have it. Now you've successfully mounted the BLK Arc on the Boston Dynamic Spot Dog. 
Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.